So I have to issue a warning, more so if you're not uh if you're not an advanced forex trader. This video lesson 35, I want to address the advance. So if you think you're not, if you're a beginner, maybe this video it will confuse you more. But this video is specific for those people who think they are advanced traders. Try to watch this video, and by the time you're done, you will ask yourself, are you advanced? Who you are you a beginner or what have you been doing in the market? So for me, when I analyze the market, I need facts. You know, beginners, they are very easy to train. I train beginners and I enjoy so much. Why? If you tell them something, they are easy, they easy adapt to that, and they don't make so many mistakes. Why? Because they have a teachable spirit. But when it comes to advanced traders, even if you tell them, do not risk, do not do this, do not do that, I don't know what really happens to these advanced traders, they will always do mistakes. Advanced traders are the ones that want to trade lower time frame. Advanced traders are the ones that want to scalp. Advanced traders are the ones who want to over risk. So I am advanced trader and also I sometimes I challenge myself and that's why this lesson is purely for advanced traders. So if you're a beginner, kindly you have to forgive me because I will blow your mind <laughs> if you attempt to watch. But anyway, it's your decision. I have given a disclaimer before you watch the video. So any advanced trader, you already know that higher time frame gives us the direction. That is something that you cannot ignore. You cannot ignore that if you want to analyze a market, you have to come to weekly, you have to go to monthly, like you have to build your case. So if we start from the monthly time frame, um, what happens from the monthly time frame? We have a very, very, very clear pattern. We have a double top. So what happens with begin with advanced traders? They will see this double top. They are seeing it is very clear, and then they will see. We have the neckline and then we go the half. So what advanced traders do, they don't even follow strategy. Maybe they have their own strategy, but then if you're an advanced trader, how do you enter a double top? If you don't use WBB, which is your strategy that you use, you know, if you have been trading a pattern, of course you have your own way of trading. You know, for beginners, that's when I'm introducing a strategy that is called WBB. But I want you to comment down below because you have been trading. Which strategy do you use in a double in a, a double top pattern? Or if you open this chart, how would you trade it? ICT traders, this smart, smart money concept uh, traders, how do you trade such a, tra uh, a chart? I would like to know because we have an issue with these advanced traders. We have an issue. <laughs> so you open your monthly chart and it's very clear we have a double top. And this double top, if you're an advanced trader and Advanced means you have been there in the market. You see, you can be an advanced trader and you're not making profit. You can be an advanced trader today, you make profits, tomorrow you make losses. You can be an advanced trader and you have never paid your big, uh, make your big, big profit in the market. So advanced means you have so many knowledge, like if I speak of support, resistance, double tops, double bottoms, patterns, after, and like you already know, that's the meaning of advanced trader. If you're a profitable trader, you're making money, we call you a profitable, a professional trader. So advanced trader does not, doesn't mean necessarily you have been making profit. So what advanced trader do when they see this double top? Because they don't have a strategy, they will think, ah, this market has to sell up to here. But you see what I'm introducing to you, I'm telling you, you can grab my strategy for free, which is WBB. It has three entry signal rules. Number one, wait for a red candle. This is the red candle, guys. This is the red candle. So we are waiting for red candle. So you check, did it give us a bearish engulf? Did the red candle engulf the green? The answer is no. So if it has not, you do what? You put a box. So from the monthly perspective, we do not have any sell trade. We don't have any sell trade. We are not selling. We, we are not even interested in that sale. So from the monthly perspective, the sell is not confirmed. But nobody has told us we can't buy. You see, when monthly tells you, you can't sell, what advanced trader doesn't know is that monthly can tell you not to sell, not time. The time is not yet. But the monthly has not told anyone not to buy because 
Of course, it's an uptrend. If you check this market, monthly is still supporting a buy. So when you have that mentality of, yes, I'm not supposed to sell, but I can buy if I get all opportunity. So once we come to the weekly time frame with that now mindset of, yes, I cannot sell because double top has not confirmed, but I'm allowed to do what? I'm allowed to buy if opportunity arises. So as an advanced trader, or a trader who is aspiring to be advanced, those are some of the things that you will check. Now, when you come to weekly time frame, you will find that we have a very clear pattern. I hope you guys, you can see it. So advanced trader, again, they will, beginner may fail to, to spot this pattern, but advanced trader, they will spot it. What advanced trader do? They ignore so much. They assume things so much. They think they trade their mind. They don't trade the charts. They, they trade what they think the market will do. They predict a lot. They don't do what? They don't do what? They don't react. So advanced trader will always see that double bottom. And you see, if you're an advanced trader and you don't have the information of at trading a double bottom, the first thing you require is if the double bottom is in one time frame. If it is not in one time frame, don't waste your time. Advanced traders, they will trade anything. If they find a double bottom, they don't care. Is it on four hour daily, weekly, monthly, I will trade it. So the rule, if you want to become a profitable professional trader, you need to be disciplined. Disciplined in terms of, if you see a pattern, like the way we have been disciplined, monthly we have gone, it is a double top, but WBB has not confirmed yet. Now you come to daily, you have a double bottom. Remember, like I told you, if a double top has not given you an entry, nobody is telling you not to buy. So. If you want, if you're an advanced trader and you have I've said advanced, they have so many information, but they don't exercise the information. So they will know this is a double bottom. Many advanced traders, they call this a double bottom, but let me tell you, it is a possible double bottom because as much as you're seeing the market will go up, the market will go up to the neckline, this market can come and range to the half like that and eventually break down and create a cap and handle. And you know, when they do this, they will be supporting monthly time frame because on the monthly, there is a very clear double top. So the fact that on monthly, that double top can work, it makes you not be able to predict any market here. We only react according to how the market will tell us, okay? So professional discipline traders, they know something. They know that we don't, tr we trade, a zone to zone. And to trade the zone to zone, we have to have rules. And to have rules, you have to have a strategy. So you see, everything is intertwined uh, and interconnected with the professional trader. But when it comes to advanced traders, they like assuming. They will assume this market is a buy. So we first need to identify if this double, top, double bottom is available on the, on the weekly. So we need to come here and uh, first market so that once you go to the weekly we know ah not weekly monthly because this double top is or double bottom is on the weekly so if i go to the monthly the monthly is the only time frame that can make me not uh involved can you see the double bottom is the double bottom on the week on the monthly it is not so as an advanced trader if now you start understanding if i'm a trading a pattern and it is only one time frame i have to lock that time frame and wait for an entry. So in this case, we are waiting for WBB again. So we come here, we wait for WBB. WBB is simply a green candle because now we want to buy. So you're waiting for a green candle to be to, to bullish and gulf. So we wait patiently. Now what advanced trader do? They will go to lower time frame. They'll try to go to lower time frame, like four hour daily, two hours, one hour to look for entry. And they don't understand that this double bottom is on weekly. So confirmation first comes from weekly. If you want to look for sniper entry, there's a difference between sniper entry and entry confirmation. Weekly can give you entry confirmation, but it's not a sniper entry. It can give you a sniper confirmation, tell you to buy, but the market will retrace 200 feet. Yes, it's a buy, but the market has retraced. So once you get confirmation, now go to look for sniper entry. So let's see how the market did. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So what happened here is that 
by the time we were waiting, you see, when I find, I analyze such a market, for me, I leave it alone and I come after one week. So for advanced traders who are not yet profitable, they will keep checking your Audi. And I don't know why. And you see, the minute you keep checking your chart, keep checking your chart, and you already know that I cannot enter until weekly candle closes, you will tend to think, oh, I'm losing it. Oh, I'm, I'm missing out. It's all form of fear of missing out. And you start selling or you start buying. So you have to avoid checking, checking your trade. If you have said these are weekly analysis, only check it on Saturday or on Sunday. So if me, if I come back on Saturday, I'll find, oh, even they didn't give us an opportunity to enter, no problem. So for my next zone, so the first zone was 51, which is half. The next zone is at the neckline. And I will remove my strategy and say, for me to go to the neckline, I need half to stay. You need to note that for me to even to be this confident, I have seen that this market has RBS. So it was very, very confirmed in terms of the buy will continue. So if half breaks, I will enter immediately. So with that RBS, it is very, very, um, very, very clear to me that this market will buy. So I have this double bottom and the market has already gone to TP1. What now advanced traders who are not yet profitable do? Because they have information, they know. They know the market will go to the client, we have to do what? To, they have to break half. The market, they will just enter by, they say, let me just enter one position as I wait. If you want to be a professional trader, you have to follow a rule. There is a truth in you should say, even if I miss out on this trade, I will have advanced my discipline. I will have advanced my character in trading. So for me, I close Euro Audi, I remove it on my watch list, and I bring it back after five days. So after five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So after five days, that's what I get. I come and I find that the market has closed and closed above the green line. So what for me I'll do, I have been waiting for two weeks. I have been waiting patiently for two weeks. So what I'll do, I will come and, and, and I'm targeting 416 pips. And to me, I'm thinking 416 pips is so for me, I will hold this trade until it hits 416 pips because everything is clear. Everything is clear and I am convinced that this market is going to buy. So as a professional, profitable trader, they come and buy because all along, what have they been waiting? They have been waiting for this entry confirmation. So the professional, profitable trader, they come and they are targeting 416 pips. So the first trade, they will not over risk. They will maybe put, according to their capital, they can put a mini lot or 0 0.2, 0 0.3, whichever lot. And they say, if this if this market hit TP, I will make $1,000. So you can sell something like that. You can have a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, like that. Or you can even have a 0 0.1. So if you it hits TP, you get 400 and something, $408. Now, something that people don't understand is that the market will always retrace. So how do you know how the market retraces? How do you know how the market retraces? There are so many ways to know how the market will retrace. First, the market has activated that, that double point. So we can be assured that this market is coming to that half, you see? there's probability of the market coming back to that half. So you'll have your first, as a professional trader, because we don't want to babysit this trade, you will have your first trade there, uh, a buy limit. And then you say, what if this market goes to half of the half? So if this market goes to half of the half is where the market currently is. And then now you say, maybe the market can come to the week because the market like to come, the candle that breaks, the market like to come back to that candle. So if you check very well that the retracement is a, around 119 pips. So when you start to over risk is this uh, the, the zone where I have marked, I have marked uh, with uh, black line. Let me change it to, let me change it to gold. So these are the, the zones that you are changing. Uh, you are doing limit order you're doing buy order because already you know this market will buy, but the fact you're not deprived with the fact that the market do retrace. So this market, even if it retrace, it can activate my first trade here, it can activate my half, and then you can you can you can target even the back, the you see the half 
line or half zone. So you can have another trade here. So you can have one, two, three, three trades. And you can maybe say, I will, I will, I will have three trades and now the fourth position. So let's say you have four positions. And for you, you are thinking if all four positions hit my take profit. So you see, you have the half, like the half. If the half activated, I'll earn 598. If the tip of the week you see now you don't even know if the market will retrace you don't even know it will retrace and the reason why you are buying immediately is because a double bottom only on weekly and it's not on daily and it has rbs those are some of the advanced uh confirmation now for me i enter buy so i'm waiting i'm hoping for buy but you see what happens with with the what happens let me let me just put it back and then I will I will hide it from the other time frame. So it will be only on the weekly. So that we will go to higher to other time frame. We will not see this position. So for me, I have analyzed and I'm good to go. But what happens to advanced traders? What happens to advanced traders? They still want to complicate. You see what I have come to realize: advanced traders complicate trading so much. They make trading so difficult. To a point, if they try to explain to you forex, you will hate. To do forex trading so for them they are thinking for me to get a sniper entry i still need to go to lower time frame i still need to go to four hour and try to trade what four is saying not even realizing that when you have a one pattern on one time frame it is very very powerful so what happens is that now you have you have um let's make let's go to daily time frame so this these traders they come to daily time frame and on the daily time frame, let me still make this not visible on the daily. So this is to warn everyone who thinks they advance and they trade like this. So when we come to weekly time frame, when you come to weekly time frame, you can see that. We were waiting for that zone to break so that we can enter. And on the daily time frame, uh, we have a very clear chart. Now, let me delete this because it's a lot of work to remove them. Just delete. Now, the advanced trader starts to complicate everything. They'll come and say, Yes, they, they, they can even see the market has broke, but they will say, why is the market selling? So they do a mistake of going to four hour. And this is where everything changes. Why? Because four hour will give you a lot of history. Four hour will give you a lot, a lot of history. So in four hour, the market can come and create a double bottom. If this market, uh, if this advanced trader, they just want a place where to maybe... Uh, get a very good entry, like a sniper entry, uh, they can come and do like this. So they can come and try to see where will the market be going on four hour. So this is what happens to the advanced trader. So they wait the market to retrace to that zone. So the market is still going down and they are happy why? Because the market has, uh, it has not gone exactly the way the weekly has said. So for us, for some hours, the advanced traders think, ah, this market wants to retrace. So they have their double bottom, which is the first pattern. So this is pattern one. So we will start counting pattern one. So that's P1, and this is our neckline. So the trader, they want to be very perfect. They want, they don't want to draw down. They want to come out because the market is saying so. so they get into that trade, they get into that trade, and they are waiting for current resistance break because it's a double bottom. So they come, the market does what? It breaks, so they are not interested with that zone. So they are targeting now the new zone, which changes everything. It will change the half area. Let's see what happens to that zone. Can you see it has moved? So pattern one still is not yet confirmed. It will be confirmed if CRB happens. So remember, they were have been waiting on weekly, but because they don't want, they don't want that patient of waiting for the market, 
they come to four hour. So they wait, they wait, and the market seems not, this, the market breaks again. You can see it has broke that area that we were thinking and they wait. So for them, they are looking for a pattern, but the first pattern is not this area. You see, the first pattern is not this area, neither is this area. Guess where is their first pattern? Our first pattern is this double bottom. Can you see that double bottom? So this become our first pattern. That becomes our first pattern. And then the pattern breaks the neckline. Once it breaks the neckline, it completes. This pattern completes. So the advanced traders, they don't know what to do next. Yet on the weekly time frame, you are told where the market is going. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. So they are stranded. When they are stranded, they see a new pattern. They forget everything they had done on weekly and start to trade the new double top. So what the banks do, they will always give you a new pattern so that you can lose focus. So we have pattern two, automatically the advanced traders, they start trading the pattern two and they know this pattern two will give them money. So pattern two up to the neckline, that is our neckline, the gold line. So they start trading pattern two. Let's see if it will be activated. So pattern two is activated. Can you see? We have pattern two activated and we have CSB. We have CSB. So they start looking for sale. They start looking for sale. So they are thinking, they are hoping the market will break here. They're hoping the market will break here, but it is not breaking. So they continue hoping the market to break. They continue hoping the market to break. And what happens? The market forms another pattern. Now we're in pattern three, a cup and handle. So we get formation of cup and handle. Note, for me, I traded and I'm relaxed. I'm not on four hour to keep changing sides. For me, I am on this trade and I have decided to swing trade it. But the advanced, they are here now going up and down and hoping now it's the cup and handle again and it will hit their take profit. But what the cup and handle does, the cup and handle, it's, uh, the market starts to drop. Why? Because the, there is a resistance break is a resistance break. So this person have entered even a buy because they are thinking the market will come here. So once they enter a buy, this happens. The market comes back. They fail not to see that yes, the buy, that yes, the market would have done a cup and handle. They fail to see, I've shown you the double top was pattern two. Have we said double top was pattern two? Cup and handle was pattern three, P3. So they are hoping that, oh, let's buy again. So they enter around here, the market retrace, and then it starts to come back. But the advanced trader fail. Let me tell you, if you're a beginner, you can't even see this. Advanced traders, they fail to see the other pattern, which is a, a double top. So pattern three. So pattern three, like I told you, it always finishes. So pattern three, will always finish. So they don't see that pattern. They are holding their cup and handle and that is pattern three, double to, a new double top. So the market comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down, completes. I told you pattern three will always complete. Once pattern three is given, they are now confused. We were trading cup and handle. Why am I on drawdown? They maybe close the trade and you see all along, Nothing is telling them that weekly it is a buy. So hold that trade and have patience. As we are waiting, pattern four activated. Pattern four gets activated. That's our pattern four. So our pattern four gets activated and this is the neckline. So we are hoping that pattern four, we will enter a buy position when half is broken. Half, I think it is still the same thing. So they still wait for that double top. If they will see P4, 
well and good, but most of them they don't see before. They will always see the wrong direction. So they see before and the market starts to go up. The market go up and now it has attempted to break a support. How many times? Three times. So this is no longer a double bottom. It has formed a new pattern we call ranging. So pattern five automatically on four hour, they have dropped double bottom. We are in P5. Now tell me as a beginner, if you're watching this video, would you rather stay on weekly buy or come on four hour and get this confusion? And that's why I tell advanced traders, yes, you have the knowledge. Yes, you can spot a double top or double bottom, but, but why would you want to suffer and it's something that you would have just folded the trade and wait until the tick off. So the, the the channel, now they are waiting on the channel and the channel breaks. Can you see the channel has broke? Now this channel, once it, it breaks like this, it is going this distance and the guaranteed distance is where? Half, half is our guaranteed distance. So the channel goes and almost hitting our half. Can you see? So there are many, many, many patterns happening. Some are doing according to what we are saying, some are not. So the market, as we look at the left, we can see as it is hitting TP1 of the channel, it can activate a new pattern, which is now a triple, a double bottom. This one, a, double, a new double bottom. So let's see what happened. That market, it comes get into the channel, complete the channel. You see it has completed the channel. Instead of a double bottom, it activates a new pattern we call triple bottom. So this market confirms a triple bottom. You need to understand guys, for me, when I come, I open this chart, I will look at where three attempts do, uh, is made on four hour. It means the market will never come to this area. It has exhausted this area. Why? Because weekly we have been given a confirmation and then we have a very good hammer. So this hammer is an indication of this market now, it's going to buy up to take profit where it is. Like this is the take profit. So this market is going to buy. But you see, now everyone is blinded. Those advanced traders who have come to trade the four hour, this is pattern five, P5. So they are thinking, ah, what is happening? So the triple bottom, you trade it like a double bottom. A triple bottom and a double bottom has no difference. But for me, I don't trade it. For me, I don't, I don't trade it. Once I see triple, I just avoid it. So once you are waiting for an entry, for an entry, for an entry, and the market gives you an entry. So this is where we get an entry of that triple bottom. Even up to this time, the, the advanced trader, they don't know that this trade, you are supposed to trade it up to the take profit. Why? Because weekly told you, now it's time to trade. What has happened here, for our and weekly, they have aligned. You have a pattern that have aligned and it can push that market. But you see, on, uh, on, on uh, this trade, many people will still thinking, what if this market activate this double top? What if we get this? What if we get this? You see now, so let's continue. So we have pattern five. Let's continue what happened after that. So can you see? We get, uh, we are thinking this can be a double top. Let's see if that pattern six will confirm or they will break. The market breaks and comes to this area. It goes back. And that's why we were calling this like a channel. The market has gone back. So let's see what happened after that. So this market, the market, um, it has con created a new pattern, a double top, a new double top. So this is pattern six. And this is what makes people get confused. Why is this market keep making patterns? You just need to, to stand with what, um, with what daily is saying. You need just to keep uh, Nini with what daily is saying. We get a new pattern and you're thinking, now they want to drive a sale. So let's see what happens. What happens? The market starts to range. You can see now they have given us a new pattern and the market breaks out of that range. So what you don't know is that once a range breaks, 
once a range breaks, everyone who is on this trade, they will squeeze their chart. Even they will go to higher time frame like daily to try even to convince themselves. And when they go to daily, now they are done. They're exhausted for her because they don't know if daily they are broke. They will find daily has a new pattern, a double top. So they will start now trading this double top again. So what banks are doing, they want to put you off out of buying. They want you to give you an idea of selling and they succeed by giving you a chance to trade that double top. So once you trade that double top, that is our half. That is our half, guys. Once you trade that double top, it's so clear how we trade a double top. First, you need to identify, is this, is this double top on the weekly? Is it on the weekly? So you go on the weekly, and these are those people who are trading vice versa. It's on the weekly. So it is not, the double top holds no water. It will not be going any further. So once everyone comes on that sale, Let's see what happens. Did, did, did we get a red candle? We get a bullish engulf and many people are on this sale. Can you see? So everyone now is selling comfortably, not knowing what happened. So they bring their short position. And that's what I was saying. Now you'll tell me which is good. Is trading lower time frame better or trading higher time frame? So they get the sale and they're thinking, this sell, the market will come up to there. That's 157 pips. So they get to that sell. Let's see what happened. The market starts misbehaving and the tip, the tip is hit and they don't know what to do. They are now waiting. You see, they, are, they can never think that this market is a buy anytime. So they are thinking, let us wait for the half to break to continue selling. But as they wait, Notice the 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 half the neckline the neckline is here of the double top that we see. So imagine if now even you are getting a new position because you know weekly is a buy, you still get five hundred and ten pips. What if you use this double bottom and say because of this double bottom, let me just trade this. But as you're waiting for sell confirmation, the market now is the time that is buying up to take profit. That's when the market buys up to take profit. The question is, what was the use of all these hassles on four hour daily, four hour daily? What was the use of all this analysis, wasting time, getting confused, selling, buying, selling, buying, instead of staying in weekly time frame? Let me show you on the weekly time frame. Instead of coming and staying on the weekly time frame. This is our weekly time frame where the market had told you, let me delete everything. You remember, not the market told us to do what? The market told us to buy because our half was broken. So the market said buy because our half was broken. And you note, we were targeting up to TP. That was the TP. We were targeting how many pips? We were targeting 422 pips. The question is, can you see any sell on weekly? No. So the sell was just being seen on a lower time frame. So instead of you wasting time, can you see the trades that we put at the week where that trade was activated? The only trade I'm sure it was never activated is the one that we put at the half. The one, this one was never activated. Can you see this, this trade was activated? So you had like four trades. And these four trades, all of them hit take profit, but advanced traders, they don't want this. They don't want to be told you can make five, 500 pips, but you have to hold the trade for how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five. Almost the six weeks. So five weeks is one month. So when you come and tell, tell someone, do you know for you to be a disciplined and a profitable professional trader, there are sometimes you will enter a market and it take you a month before it hits TP. They will refuse. They will say, no, that's not for me. Me, I want to scalp. But let me tell you, if you want to trade perfectly and you want to trade up to take profit, you just need to look one pattern in only one time frame. And if you want to take to TP one half, wait for WBB. If you want to TP two to, to TP two neckline, 
wait for half to break. And I think if which one comment down below, do you think trading weekly is easier than four hour and daily? More so if weekly tells you to buy or to sell, pay attention. Hope the advanced traders you have had, if you're a beginner, I hope even you, you have had if you have decided to watch this video. And I hope you will now decide that once weekly tells me to buy, I will hold on the buy. Even if daily tells me to sell, four hour tells me to sell, I hold on that buy until I see TP. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. See you in the next video. Love you.